European Union interior ministers have agreed to tighten the bloc's asylum policies. The decision comes after what was seen as a make-or-break meeting for the bloc to solve its migration policy conundrum. For years, EU members have been at odds over how to manage migration, with southern countries demanding more support and solidarity from their eastern and northern neighbors. And our correspondent Bernd Rigat is covering the negotiations in Luxembourg for us. Bernd, minutes ago, breaking news, the EU interior ministers agree on stricter asylum reforms. What do we know at this stage? What did they agree on? Well, after years of very intense negotiations, uh, the ministers were able to settle a very bitter dispute uh, among the 27 member states. Uh, it's a historic day. It was a difficult decision. That is what uh, Nancy Faeser, the German interior uh, minister, just said. Um, Basically, the ministers have agreed on a new border procedure for migrants uh, that m enables Italy and Greece, the countries of uh, first entry, um, to decide swift, more swiftly and to send migrants that have no chance to get protection, uh, to send them back more swiftly to their countries of origin or to their countries of transit. And um, countries are also pledging um, for more relocation of uh, migrants from Greece and Italy uh, to their territories. And countries who don't do that uh, are now obliged to pay money, 20,000 euros per migrant they don't take. If all this uh, comes into practice, we will see, because Poland and uh, Hungary already declared that they will not uh, carry out um, these duties and uh, will object uh, this uh, during the next phases, because it's not over yet. The Council has now to negotiate with the European Parliament uh, until the end of the year, and then the legislative process will take until next year, and only then uh, this whole new procedure can kick in, and it only applies to to a small fraction of migrants, only those who come from countries with an approval rate for, for asylum seekers below 20% can go into this new system. And this is only a quarter of people actually arriving in Europe. Lots of caveats and lots to still hash out. DW's band Riga, thank you so much. We can now speak to Fabian Funke from the Social Democrats. He's a member of the German Bundestag. He signed a paper that says that the new proposal for a reform will weaken the right for asylum. Mr. Funke, what do you make of today's decision? It's still very fresh, uh, today's decision, so we have to look in detail uh, in the next hour what it really means. Um, but at first, it's important that uh, also the interior ministers in Europe found a compromise and we have to look very close at it. Of course, there are some um, aspects that I would find really critical when we look at this uh, centers at the border, where for me, it's important that also the human rights um, are um, also uh, in place and that we have possibilities for the migrants to have legal remedy and things like that. So this is quite important and I'm not really sure how this is um, in, in the end uh, really made clear. Um, but we have a compromise and we have to look at it really closely in the next hours and then um, think about how it is. It's important that also the interior minister of Germany, Nancy Faeser, stated that for her human rights uh, are a big part of it. And when we look at child children rights, uh, made really clear that for Germany, this is a really important position that we have these in place. Mm -hmm. uh, can you just explain, because you signed that paper, how will the rights of asylum seekers be weakened if what, what was in the draft actually then becomes implemented? When we have these like centers at the border, uh, like this pre preliminary uh, assessment, it's and not a fully um, asylum um, system in place, then we have, of course, to look how the legal possibilities and legal rights and human rights also of the migrants coming there will be um, at the end in place and that they have access to legal remedy in the end. And I think this is really difficult when we look at centers that we now have at the borders um, of the European Union, where this is really not the case. So do you think currently human rights are not a priority for EU leaders? Um, of course, I would not say in general that this is not a priority, but when we look uh, at the European borders and the human rights violations uh, in the last year, of course, Europe uh, the European Union has something to do about that, about um, human rights violations, and have also to make suggestions how they will do that. Mm -hmm. Why do you think the EU went down the path they eventually went went down with stricter 
regulations for asylum seekers? We now have a system in place in the European Union, which is not quite fair. When you look about the distribution of migrants, we see that there is a big, a big part of migrants coming, of course, to Italy and Greece and the other states in the Mediterranean. So to really solve these problems, we need those quotas um, and those um, distribution mechanisms that we're also talking about, uh, which I find really good that they have talked about it and they have tightened also these regulations. But this is really the problem that we have no fair distribution within the European Union, that we have some states taking many migrants and other states taking non-migrants. And I think this is something that's really important to address also um, to have a more just system within the European Union. Mm -hmm. The fact that they're now obligated to pay money if they don't want to take any migrants in, is that not an easy way out of their obligations as EU members? Yeah, the best case indeed would to fulfill these uh, obligations, taking migrants. But uh, of course, it's it's the small steps also within the European Union. So I think the compromise that they found now on this a part um, of the migration issue is really something positive to see, but of course not the end of the road. That was uh, Fabian Funke from the Social Democrats, who's a member of the German Bundestag. Thank you so much for your take on this very fresh decision.